All right, moving on. Uh, today, Universal uh, announced that uh, pass holder benefits, UOAP uh, benefits, will be returning next month in May. Uh, a lot of them are kind of a lot of it's actually the same stuff that's been there before. Uh, yeah. You you have your exclusive entrance um, from eight a.m. This will be from eight a.m. to two p.m. Um, from May first to May twenty sixth. Uh, then it says to use utilize the entrance. Go to the mark. You you know they'll they'll have the what's the stanchion the the probably the sign out and then you can go in that. Uh, this exclusive is, this entrance. This is for, I, for islands only. This is for islands only, mm -hmm. correct. It doesn't mention anything about USF. Well, I'm, uh, I'm assuming I, I, islands is the early entry. Uh, I guess islands has pretty much been early entry for a while now all the time. <laughs> yeah, it has been. Well, it was... I was there a couple weeks ago, and I think it was studios, but they, I, they yeah. use IOA a lot for the early entry. Um, Gosh, I wonder why. I wonder yeah. Why that be? Yeah. Um, and then they're going to have um, the dining locations will be back. You'll be able to enjoy exclusive upstairs dining spaces and exclusive menu items at Confisco, at IOA, and Lombards and uh, Universal Studios. Uh, and then we have some of the menu items here. They'll have uh, um, some beef sliders, some shrimp, shrimp and crab rag, rangoon uh, at Lombards. And then there's going to be uh, secret menu items, and we have them all listed here. I'm not going to go through every one individually. Uh, Voodoo Donut will have uh, some a a whole donut. Lot of, whole lot of horchata, which that Hor actually sounds very good. <laughs> yeah, this donut actually sounds really good. Yeast. This is the first time I'm reading it because I tried to get the article up before we yeah. went live here. Um, yeast donut tossed with cinnamon and sugar with a horchata Bavarian cream filling. If you've never had horchata, it is it's uh it's, I don't think I've ever had horchata. It's a very it's a very good good drink. Um, Interesting. So I'm, I'm interested to see how this donut's going to be. Um then over at uh, Antojito Antojitos, uh there's crab enchiladas. Yep. Uh, with a chili ch chichillo mole sauce. I'm not going to read it all off, but <laughs> <laughs> Universal's Great Movie Escape, which one of the best bars in City Walk, <laughs> and it's we'll have the perfect pair of margarita. That actually looks pretty good. NBC Sports Grill will have the avocado toast burger, um, which basically is avocado toast with an all beef patty. It looks like. Yep, feta cheese, cherry tomatoes, and like we said, Finnegan's will have an uh, this. I I might have to try this. Uh, Finnegan's will have the an ale braised pork sandwich. Uh, that actually sounds pretty good. That does sound good. Again, I'm reading <laughs> this for the first time. Ale braised pork sandwich, Iris whiskey barbecue sauce, stout beer cheese sauce, pretzel bun, pickled onion, and cabbage served with wedge fries. Yeah, that actually does sound pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We mentioned the sliders over at over yep. Confisco. And also, if you've never done the upstairs dining there, um, which will be for the pass holders, uh, do it it's got some of the coolest views it's a really cool view up there at confisco you, you've ever seen you get to see islands from a different perspective yeah uh, it, it's really neat um, it's really cool yeah. out there on the patio and and secondly it's quieter up there yeah <laughs> it is <laughs> um, um myth go ahead barry mythos will have shrimp saganaki meze which uh i'm not going to explain what all that is but uh not too bad. And uh, Starbucks will have a banana split frappuccino. Banana split frappuccino. <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds like a lot of sugar. Blended frappuccino <laughs> with vanilla bean, strawberry, java chips, and banana topped with whip, <coughs> excuse me, and mocha drizzle. Um, and then obviously there's going to be uh, all sorts of discount hotel rates for Universal Orlando annual pass holders. Which, if I saw the email correctly, it's, the discounts are pretty high. Yeah. Which, which means May must be very low booked right now they're low <laughs> on bookings yeah because uh i think it was what up to 45 percent or something off i think it's, so yeah it, it was pretty high and then there's a jurassic park magnet yeah i'll have to get this for cheryl mm -hmm. i won't i won't i'll have to get it and give it to cheryl yeah there's gonna be a jurassic park pass holder magnet uh from may 1st to may 26th while supplies last uh, you can get your free uh, UOAP magnet, uh, and you'll be able to get it in the lounge in Toon Lagoon, which isn't open yet, right? Uh, I don't think the pass holder lounge in IOA is open yet, because when I was there a couple, unless maybe, it's unless it's supposed to open for May first, supposed to open up very soon here. Um, yeah, I I had I 
We'll have to check next time. <laughs> yeah, well, I was there a couple weeks ago, and I, I I walked by the Betty Boop gift shop where the where the new pass holder yeah. lounge is going in Iowa, and it, there was <clears throat> there were still black curtains all up. So maybe they're getting ready to open it up here in the next week or so. Um, and then the, the hotels will be uh, participating with all kinds of different things. Yeah, around. there's uh, there's different there's like Bogo. Uh, there's a complimentary complimentary dessert at um, the. Trattoria del, Trattoria Porto. del Porto at uh, Porto Vino. Which I hate Excuse to say, me. if you've ever seen the prices for that restaurant, it, there should be a complimentary dessert. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, uh, Bogo Royal beers. Uh, 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 yeah, there's Bogo beers at Hard Rock, uh, Royal Pacific um, at different restaurants there. Sapphire the, Falls, Bogo the, beer. Yeah, then Aventura, Cabana Bay, and the summer will all have buy one length of stay refillable souvenir cup for the price of a three day souvenir cup. So. Yeah. So we have all these details up on the website if you guys want to check them out, but I figured we could kind of go through them and just kind of give you guys an overview of the uh, pass holder perks that are coming back to universal Orlando yeah, beginning yeah. May 1st. No, bring back the pass holder party universal. <laughs> oh, I, miss, I miss that so much. Yeah, the pass holder the, pass holder night party thing was so much fun. No, and it wasn't even about like getting a bunch of rides. It it was just not. It was cool to be in the park. Hang yeah, out with some people. And, yeah, and then, and then the coolest part usually was, you know, you. I know you and I le a couple times we left. I mean, it was like you know, we got to do we got the whole empty park experience, yeah. which is yep. like you know one of our favorite things. When's the so, last time they did that? Was it twenty? Was it 2019? 2018, 2019? 20, 2018 or 2019. I, I don't remember off yeah. the top of my head. I can't yeah. remember. It's um, been a while. Yeah. No, the pass holder. I forgot what they called it. Pass holder party or pass holder night. Or, was it pass holder nights or something? It was just pass holder night. Yeah. Um, it was a blast. I loved it. It was a good time. So, yeah. No. Universal, if you're listening, please bring that back. It was fun. Uh, so, all right. Moving on. Uh, I just got to